How's it going, folks? Well, we're up to chapter 12 of Helaman, and I don't see a single thing highlighted. No drinks. But, I think I'll finish this. So, I'll just wet my whistle once in a while. No game here. I haven't decided if I want to drink, read another vid, drink another chapter. <laughs> All right, no drinks. So let's just do this. One. And thus, we can behold how false, and also the unsteadiness of the hearts of the children of men. Yea. We can see that the Lord, in His great infinite goodness, does, doth bless the, and prosper those who put their trust in Him, even though their hearts are all fucked up. Can't be trusted. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Nice bouquet. Two, yea, and we may see at the very time when he doth prosper his people, yea, in the increase of their fields, their flocks, and their herds, and in gold, and in silver, and in all manner of precious things of every kind and art sparing their lives and delivering them out of the hands of their enemies, softening the hearts of their enemies, that they should not declare war against them. Yea, and in fine doing all things for the welfare and happiness of his people. Yea, then is the time that they do harden their hearts and do forget the Lord their God and do trample under their feet the Holy One. Yea, and this because of their ease and their exceedingly great prosperity. Three. And thus, we see that except the Lord doth chasten his people with many afflictions, yea, except he doth visit them with death and with terror and with famine and all manner of pestilence, they will not remember him. Gee, what is the devil doing that's so awful? Seems like most of the evil shit going on is being done by... For, oh, how foolish, and how vain, and how evil, and devilish, and how quick to do iniquity, which would cover all those things above, uh, and how slow to do good, are the children of men, yea? How quick to hearken unto the words of the evil one, and to set their hearts upon the vain things of the world. Five, yea, how quick to be lifted up in pride, yea, how quick to boast, and to all manner of that which is iniquity. And how slow are they to remember the Lord their God, like you said before, uh, and to give ear unto his counsels. Yea, how slow to walk in wisdom's path. Six, behold, they do not desire that the Lord their God, who hath 
created them should rule and reign over them, notwithstanding his great goodness, as displayed in the earlier verses, and his mercy towards them. They do set at naught his counsels, and they will not that he should be their guide. A lot of oxymormons here where they're saying the same thing twice, just a little differently. Sometimes even more than twice. <sighs> Seven. Oh, how great is the nothingness of the children of men. Yea, even they are less than the dust of the earth. We're not even dirt. Isn't that nice? Uh, eight. For behold, the dust of the earth moveth hither and thither to the dividing asunder, which is also hither and thither, by the way, uh, at the command of our great and everlasting God. Nine. Yea, behold, at his voice do the hills and the mountains tremble and quake. Ten. And by the power of his voice are they broken up and become smooth. Yea, even like unto a valley. And they're so smooth all the time. Eleven, yea, by the power of his voice, voice, doth the whole world shake, like you said in verse eight or verse nine. You say it again in eleven, just differently, different wording, same fucking thing. Twelve, yea, by the power of his voice, to the foundations. Rock to the very center, which is more the same. We get it. The earth shakes. Okay. It's always doing that somewhere. Always. It doesn't stand. Fourteen. Yea, if he say unto the earth, Thou shalt go back, that it lengthen out the day. For many hours it is done. Fifteen. And thus, according to his word, the earth goeth back, and it appeareth unto, men, unto man that the sun standeth still. Yea. And behold, this is so, for surely it is the earth that moveth, and not the sun, because 19th century technology, they... Whatever. 16. And behold, also, if he sate unto the waters of the great deep, be thou dried up, it is done. 17. Behold, if he say unto this mountain, Be thou raised up, and come over and fall upon that city, that it be buried up, behold, it is done. 18. And behold, if a man hide up a treasure in the earth, and the Lord say, Let it be accursed, for some reason, uh, because of the iniquity of him. There we go. Uh, cold reading. <laughs> Who hath hit it up? Behold, it shall be accursed. 19. And if the Lord shall say, Be thou accursed, that no man shall find thee from this time henceforth and forever. Behold, no man getteth it henceforth and forever. Done deal. 20. And behold, 
If the Lord say unto a man, Because of thine iniquities, thou shalt be accursed forever, it shall be done. Nice to know. 21. And if the Lord shall say, Because of thine iniquities, thou shalt be cut off from mine presence, my presence, he will cease cause that it shall be so. 22. And woe unto him to whom he shall say this. For it shall be unto him that will do iniquity, and he cannot be saved. Therefore, for this cause, that man must be saved. Hath repentance been declared? Okay. It's not making sense. Let's see if this helps. Everything makes sense more. Makes a little more sense now. Yeah, better. Too. And woe unto him whom he shall say this, for it shall be unto him that will do iniquity, and he cannot be saved. Therefore, for this cause, that man might be saved, hath repentance been declared. Therefore, 23, therefore, blessed are they who will repent and hearken unto the voice of the Lord their God. For these are they that shall be saved. 24. And may God grant in his great fullness that men might be brought unto repentance and good works, that they might be restored unto grace for grace, according to their works. So it's all about works for you guys. Good. I, I'm down with that. Yeah, works. All that faith alone, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's all a bunch of bullshit, but that's especially bullshit. That's right bullshit. 25. And I would that all men might be saved. Even though we get to say, let it be. Now you gotta, you gotta earn that by groveling. But we read that in the great and last day, last day, there shall be some who shall be cast out. Yay! Who shall be cast off from the presence of the Lord? 26. Yea, who shall be consigned to a state of endless misery? Fulfilling the words which say, They that have done good shall have everlasting life. According to deeds. Wow. And they that have done evil shall have everlasting damnation. damnation. And thus it is. Amen. And I've run long. I'll have to edit this down, see if I can squeeze it into one. Anyway, there's a few drinks in 13. I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And let me know if you learned something. Tell me what it is, so I can learn it too.